everybody so before i start this video i just want to say as meaningless as it is a merry christmas to everybody here uh yeah i hope everyone had a good christmas as best as possible if not i do apologize but uh you know just wanted to wish everyone a merry christmas like it's not the holidays or anything i hate i mean i see it's meaningless but seeing it meaningless doesn't mean i dread them in any way like to the point where like ah, oh, i can't stand it but I do. I mean, the one holiday I actually I got to be straight there on this. I mean, I'm sure people are already gonna know what I'm gonna say because I said it multiple times. The holiday I can't fucking stand is New Year's. If any, if any holiday I hate, it's New Year's. Now I think they're all meaningless in a way, but doesn't mean I can't stand them. But that one particular holiday, New Year's, that's one year I just oh grinds my gears. Like for Family Guy, Family Guy, that really really grinds my effing gears, man. But anyway, so today I want to talk about why i'm not negative or depressed instead it's just life itself that's this way see people there's a lot of people that always say to us you know the way you think's not normal you're too negative you just you know you just have no positivity in your life and the truth is it's not that it's just i see everything's how fucked up everything is you know now i could pretend and say yo jolly rolly you know whatever you want to call it but the truth is i know what's the truth I can't, you know, I, you know, when you know something, you can't unknow it, you know? So that's one thing, like when people say you, you seem depressed or you seem dark and like I always say, you know, cause I do, the, I do get people to say that here and there, you know, be like, bro, man, you, you really, can't you ever talk about something positive? You, you're just so negative and depressed, man. Like, like, you know, and the truth is I'm, like I said, I'm not really a depressed person. I do have anxiety and I'm not going to lie. When I do have really, really, really bad, like when I'm really physically feeling sick, yeah, then that's when I would say I get depressed because, you know, I'm literally feeling like shit and plus what life's all about on top of it, you know. But in all in all, I'm really, I, I try to be a happy dude, you know. I mean, I am a happy dude. I like to make jokes and shit, you know, even though they might be corny, who the hell knows. But, you know, the point is, you know, I'm, I'm one of those type of guys that like to, you know, make people laugh. I like to, you know, I'm a jokester, I guess you could say. You know, so I'm not entirely really a depressed person. It's just what I'm saying is true about life. Life itself is depressing. So really, when people like us get called depressed or negative, people should really think, you know what? If we're negative or depressed, what is life? Because what you always were, always were saying is what life's all about. You know, it's like reading a story. You're reading a book of whatever it's about. You're just reading what it's about, describing what the story's about. So that's basically like with life. That's what I'm describing. Everything I'm saying about life, if that sounds depression, depress, depressing, then that means life itself is depressing. You know, I'm just the narrator of life, I guess you could call it as, you know. I'm describing what a shithole this place is. And if that makes me negative, so be it. But I'm just saying what it is. Now, I'm not a person, like, I'm not suicidal in any way. I mean, I I mean, I get the thoughts, but it I never really attempted. But, yeah, I mean, you know, because, you know, there's always a lot of people that say, Justin, man, can't you ever be upbeat, you know? And the truth is, I'm just speaking what's the truth. I can't, I, I don't like lying. I, can't, I mean, I could make videos of lying just saying, you know, I could be like one of those other idiots that say, oh, man, things get better. And don't get me wrong, it does get better for some people. You know, it does. But that's not the case for everyone, you know. That's the thing. People always say it'll get better. And it's just, it's not always the case. It does sometimes get better for people. And hey, whatever someone's going through, do I truly hope it does get better for that person? Absolutely. Of course. Why wouldn't I? That's a, that's a fuck up thing to, you know, wish it not to get better for someone. But it's just reality, you know, speaking facts here, it doesn't always work that way, you know. And it sucks. And in me just saying that, some people be like, oh, well, don't think that way. That's negative. Well, it's not. I'm just saying it's it's the truth. You know, it's just it doesn't always get better for people. Sadly, I wish I wish it would get better for everyone, whatever someone's going through, you know, and whoever's going through some hard times. I truly my heart, my heart really uh, melts for you people. It really does. You know, I'm not experiencing a specific feeling or illness or whatever type of feeling that you're feeling, but I can imagine the, the, you know, the torment, the pain that you're in and just, you know, that, 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 that makes me sad, you know, I'm not going to lie. So I do truly hope people actually, you know, 
do see light at the end of the tunnel like the video i made in the past but i just got to be real and say it's just not always the case with people it's not man sadly it's just not i wish it was but it's not it's like you know not everyone not everyone's gonna you know this is another perfect example today's christmas right as of making this video not sure if this video is going to be posted exactly on christmas or not i'm hoping so if i can go somewhere good with internet but um yeah but what i was trying to say is not everyone has you know a good christmas some people get depressed during christmas because a loved one maybe died or some certain thing happened around that time and now every time christmas comes that person gets those memories those bad memories those thoughts of whatever bad tragically happened to them so you know you get some people be like oh man don't be so you know down in the dumps man it's christmas man it's time to celebrate but the truth is it's really just another day and sadly that specific day brings someone down because sometimes there's bad things that happen to those people you know and so you know ho holidays could be good for some people and depressing for some people because you know it works both ways a lot of things sometimes happen it was on the news there was this couple I, I I was just like listening to it briefly. I wasn't really like, you know, watching it entirely. I was on the go, but I heard the house caught on fire and the, I think two kids died right before Christmas. So it was on Christmas Eve, I believe. Well, I think even before Christmas Eve, if I'm not mistaken, but it was before Christmas. And now that the parents or whatever are really going to every Christmas time is going to be tragic you know it's going to be a uh, traumatic for them you know they're never going to look at christmas good or whatever the hell it's going to be the big i don't know how to describe it but you know it's it's going to be bad you know every time that it's a bad memory now that's going to keep coming every year you know as soon as they see the lights the trees all that stuff they're already going to get the thoughts they didn't make it christmas they burned to death you know so it's like the holidays could be good and bad but really i mean it's meaningless but the truth is you know truth is i could understand why some people are down on holidays because certain bad things happen to people around those times whatever it might be and every time that specific holiday comes up it brings back the memory and it's not a memory we want it you know no you know as of <laughs> what was it right now we're in 2022 2020 it was christmas day it was the night before christmas eve we had like a really heavy windstorm hurricane Next day, the tree fell. One of my trees in front of the house fell down. Now, no one got hurt or anything, but, you know, so now every year, like every Christmas, I think about those trees. You know, that's just a little example. I think about those trees that fell. It landed on my neighbor's fence, fucked the fence up a little bit, but nothing too bad. We got it removed. The, the fence got fixed. You know, it just, I mean, all, it was like a changeling fence, if I'm not mistaken. But, but besides the point, Every Christmas now, I think of that, like, you know, that every, it's a, it's a new year, you know, like, like, I mean, like, like every, every Christmas, I'm like, yep, the, uh, Christmas days, the tree fell, you know, in 2020. So like someone, God forbid, dies, whether, you know, it's natural causes or tragically or whatever, it's, it's sad because it brings bad memories, you know, now with the tree, I mean, you know, it's just a little example. I mean, it's not a bad memory or good memory. It's just a stupid tree, <laughs> but a eh, little less oxygen <laughs> but you know that's just an example of, you know like how certain things happen on a holiday and every year you think about that you know now like i always say i'm not a grinch in any way i'm not saying don't like i you know i said in videos in the past and i'll say it again I'm not saying don't celebrate the holidays you know oh because it's meaningless it is meaningless but still distract yourself as best as possible before reality unfortunately sinks back in you know and that's basically what we do you know today's just any other regular ordinary day you know we just make up shit oh, it's christmas oh it's this oh it's that oh, 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 oh it ain't no magical day now the next weekend as of making you know the week from now will be new year's and that that's honestly one holiday i can't fucking stand you're getting morons literally standing in the freezing cold if they have to use the bathroom, I don't even know how they do it or whatever the hell. I don't know if they just, I don't, I don't even know. Some probably pee on the floor. I don't, I, I don't even know. I don't even think I want to know. But you get idiots there all, all just standing, gathering up for some stupid ball to just, like, what happens when this ball goes down? Absolutely nothing. Does any magic happen? No way. But I could tell you this, torment happens. 
Whatever torment is while the ball's still up, it's just going to add more torment or maintain the same when it comes down. Pretty much add more. So it's not really a, you know, and then this is where, again, you get people to say, bro, come on, man. Just stop talking this way. You know, you're so fucking dark and depressing. And I'm just saying, bro, I'm not dark and depressing. I'm just being realistic here, man. I mean, we celebrate all these things like, like, I don't know how to explain it, man. Like, like, like something good's going to happen out of this. And it's unfortunately not the case. Like I said, we always get excited for a new year or like, you know, 2022 is coming to an end. My God, what a horrible year. This happened, that happened. Shootings, this shooting or whatever. I'm just, you know, which a lot of shootings happen. And what do you think is going to happen in 2023? It's going to be the same thing, if not more. So it's like, we're literally, when you think about it, we're literally celebrating negative things to occur. We thinking we're going to celebrate for positive outcomes when it's going to be the total all the way around. We're literally sell we're literally doing toast to inflation going up more. Toast to another more expensive year. Toast to more crimes. Toast to this, toast to that. Negative wise. And I'm just being realistic of it being negative. I'm not negative. I'm just describing what this whole world is. It's negative. It sucks. There's very few positive things in this life. Very few. I don't even think I can think of any. But that doesn't mean I'm negative and depressed. It's just I don't see anything really positive here. Something just fell outside. It's actually a little windy. I think a chair went flying. Then you get a lot of people that say live in the presence. Don't think about the future or past. You know, I mean, it's true with the past. Whatever happened, happened. It sucks. But there's no way you could change it, unfortunately, you know. But... They say the best way to live is in the presence, and it's true, but it's hard because things that have things that are coming in the future are always in our, always on our minds. Like for example, no one taxes is next week. Let's just say, or well, this bill is due this specific day. So you think presently, but that keeps taking you out of that present moment into the future, thinking, "Oh, this better be paid. This better be paid," or, or whatever you know, or whatever problem we might have in the future, you know. So it's really hard. It's hard because we don't allow we don't allow it to be like like how I'm trying to say it is we don't allow to live in the present because these things keep taking over it. The system itself. If that makes any sense. You know, it's like for example, let's say you're 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 going for surgery for something, right? Let's say in a week from now you're going for a really serious surgery. Whatever it might be, it's just an example. You know, they say just be present, don't think about that, but it's hard because you know that day's going to possibly come and, you know, you're just constantly dwelling on it like, oh man, I'm so fucking scared, I'm so fucking scared. And it's actually, it makes it more scary when it's more time away because you dwell on it more. Like it's almost to the point where you just wish that day would come just to get it over with, you know. I mean, that's how I feel sometimes. So it's like, you know, it's nearly impossible to live in the present moment because the future is always literally coming at you you know like what i'm trying to say by that meaning is you know you keep getting reminders of things that are coming up in the future that you don't want to do possibly you know oh you got to go to this specific place next week oh, you gotta there's a wedding or whatever you got to get a gown you know you got to get a suit or whatever to help so you're not thinking presently you're thinking already about what you got to do when that wedding comes up so i got to get prepared so literally you know, to make a long story short, you're not living presently because we're always worrying about the future. But I guess what you could say is we're sort of living presently, but not really. I mean, I guess half present, half future. But we're not fully, fully living presently. Because we're always worrying about the next day or the next week or the and the next day and the next day and the next day. <laughs> but yeah, you, you you feel what I'm trying to say? So we'll never really, you know, if we all lived in the present moment, maybe we wouldn't have anxiety, but it's hard. You know, it's nearly impossible. I mean, from my view, I, I, I see it pretty hard, man, you know. But anyway, like I said, Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, you know. Really can't stand the week after Christmas. If anything, that's one holiday I really got to say grinds my frigging gears. That, I admit, I'm a Grinch to 100%. But 
New Year's is the most stupidest holiday out of all. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I'm, say, I'm not saying, like, every holiday is meaningless in my opinion. But New Year's has got to be by far the dumbest, dumbest, stupidest, stupidest effing holiday there is out there. Out of every other holiday. Now, I know you're going to get some people and be like, bro, all holidays are stupid and meaningless. And yeah, you're right. You're right. Don't get me wrong. But man, New Year's, dude. Holy shit. It's just, oh man, I, I, I hate it for a passion, man. And especially these idiots literally just waiting for a ball. Like some kind of magical mir mir miracle is going to happen once it comes down. I wish it was a fucking miracle. You'd probably have a better miracle if it was a friggin' a meteor ball coming down. And this fucking bullshit. Then I could say happy fucking New Year's. In heaven, I hope. Or if it's just lights out. Who knows? But anyway, I'm going to wrap it there, guys. Love you all. Merry Christmas. And in a week from now, another shit year, everybody. Take it easy, unfortunately.